In this video, we are going to go over the new curved automation in Live 9 and how it can generally make your life better. In Live 9, you now have the ability to add curved automation to any parameter. So what that means is I can take a track panning here selected. I could take track panning and I can create a node and I can create another node and I can raise it up and down. You see there's no curving going on. However, if I move my mouse close to here, you can see how it lights up and I'm able to select that bit there. And if I hold down the option or the Alt key, you can have this curved icon up here. And if you click and you hold, voila, you can add curves to your automation. So this was a big uh, sticking point for a lot of people in Live 8. And now it's here in Live 9. And while it's not perfect, it is a step in the right direction. And it can help with a lot of things and make things sound a lot more fluid. And that's what we're going to go over. So what I'll do is I will clear this up, clear all envelopes, and let's build, we'll build a bit of a beat, all right? And then we'll see how we can implement some of these curve envelopes to, uh, to help things move along. So I've got a little kick drum here. I'll just copy that, hold down Alt or Option. See, it's wacky kind of sounding kick drum. It's got that little bloop at the end. Okay, so I will now drag in, uh, and we'll do a snare down there. And I'm just gonna have audio clips just in um, a range view here, just to make things easy to see for everybody. All right, super simple. We'll put in a little, uh, little ticky closed hat. And uh, I'll do that. No, let's put an open hat there and there. Get rid of that and that. And then we'll stick a tom in. Right, so we've got uh, the stereotypical house beat going. I'm just gonna shrink this closed hat thing down just a little bit. Now, where we can use the curved envelopes is in this tom here. So we've got this tom that is kind of going broomp and leads us into the next beat and provides basically the whole groove. So, one way that we can adjust that is by using the fades. Now, for those of you who are very astute, you will know that the fades, the clip fade envelopes, have curves in them from Live 8. So I could do this with the volume here um, and demonstrate the new curves in Live 9, but curves are curves. So anything that I can do with this, uh, these fade ones, you can pretty much replicate with the, um, with the other clip envelope curves. So we'll stick with fades for now. Now, what we will do is we will adjust the tail on the tom. Now, using the curves, you can make it go uh, longer, shorter, less tapered, more tapered, and that is going to drastically adjust the groove of the entire track. So I'll play it and I'll adjust this and, I'll, and you can listen and hear what I mean. We'll leave it uh, just at the start for now, and then I'll play with it, and you can hear what I mean. Right? So it makes a humongous difference. And that can apply to anything. So you can use this. I'm going to use it on this, uh, this little open hat here as well. We can use the uh, fade on it.
So even just using this one parameter of the volume fades, you can see how powerful the curved envelopes are. If we just had strictly linear envelopes, there's only so much you can do with them, and it starts to sound very robotic, and it's not, it's not as fluid as having the curved envelopes. So in the next videos, we'll go over using some uh, curved automation in something other than volume and all the fun that you can have with that.